Today I have a Bat Eagle 56 volt 5 amp hour battery. When I press on this button here, it shows green, but it will blink red. The voltage on the battery is 51.85 volts. So when I put it on my charger, the fan goes on, the LED turns red, so only the red LED is on, the green LED is not on. And if we take a look at the instruction here, that means high temperature. But the battery is at room temperature and it's not even hot at all. So today I'm going to open this up and show you how I diagnose with the problem with this battery. And I will show you how I come to a conclusion of whether or not I want to repair this battery or salvage this battery. So let's get started. And if I take the voltage again after I put it in the charger, the voltage stays exactly the same. That means it definitely has some problem inside. So let's open this up and check this out. To remove the plastic case, there are a total of 14 T15 security screws. So these screws have a pin right in the center. So this is the T15 security torque bit. You got five screw here on this side, five screw here on this side, and then four screws here on the bottom. Here is the inside of the battery. The two main connectors that go from the battery to the controller, they are covered with silicone. So I have to pry off all of this silicone in order to get to the connector and to disconnect the connector. Now that I got the plastic case out of the way, I want to measure the voltage of every single cell on this battery. But Eagle makes it hard for me to put my probe in here between the two packs here. And that means in order for me to measure the voltage inside here, I have to remove. I have to separate these two halves because there's no way I can stick my probe in here. I do not want to disassemble this pack yet, so I'm gonna try a different method to measure the voltage of every cell. I've got these two main connectors disconnected from the main board, and these are the balance charging cable for every single cell here. I'm gonna use these two cables to measure the voltage of every cell on the battery instead. So the way I'm going to do this is to connect the positive probe to the main positive of the battery, which is right here. And then I'm going to use the negative probe to probe on every single pin on this connector. And because this pin is so small to get to, there's no way this is going to get into there. So I'm going to connect the negative probe with this pin here from my breadboard, this pin is real small and that should be small enough to pin into the little gap here in this connector. Alright, let's go for the first cell which is right here. 3.69 volts. So I assume every single cell is 3.7 volts. So if we go to the next cell, it should be 7.4 there we go so there will be an increment of 3.7 volts each time i go further away there we go 11.1 14 14.8 18.5 22.2 25.9 now we go to the next cable 29.6 33.3 37.0 40.7, 44.4, 48.1 and finally the main negative terminal which is right here 51.8 this battery is a 14S battery so it has 15 balance connectors there are 13 here on these two wires and one on the main positive that's 14 one on the main negative that's 15 I have gone through the whole battery 
through all of the balance connector and there is an exact 3.7 volt increment every time I move along so I know for sure that all of the cells on this battery is okay and because the problem of this battery is pointing to high temperature what I'm going to do next is to test the thermal sensor on this battery this battery has two thermal sensor and we also call it thermistor and usually it can be identified by a small black wire that has two conductors it's usually buried in some sort of silicone because silicone can take a lot of heat so on this side here this one is buried inside the silicone this one I already pry out the silicone and here is what it looks like this is basically just a resistor and in general the resistance value of a resistor change with different temperature and this resistor is made specially in the way that it is very sensitive to changes in temperature and that change in temperature will send to the controller and that's how the controller can figure out when the battery is too hot every manufacturer will use a different kind of thermistor but the most common resistor that they use value is about 10,000 ohm or 10 kilo ohm and let's check on the resistance value each of the thermistor will go to each separate connector here I'm going to change my meter to measure ohm let's check out the first one 9.4 kilo ohm now let's try the second one 9.5 kilo ohm as you can see both the misters value is very close to 10 kilo ohm so there shouldn't be any problem with the thermistors so now by the process of elimination I can be for sure that this battery has a problem with the BMS or the controller this brand Eagle made the BMS in a way that they put it inside a lot of silicone all of the electronic components of this controller or BMS is in case inside the silicone so there's no way I can remove the silicone to figure out and diagnose a problem with this BMS so the only way to fix this battery is just to remove this wire here just unplug it and replace with a new BMS fortunately most of the time when a power tool battery goes bad is usually the cells that go bad but not the BMS so I can easily find another BMS from another bad battery and just take the BMS and just plug it in here and I have another 5 amp hour battery or I can just disassemble this entire battery and use the cells for something else so for most manufacturer you can swap out BMS even though they have different capacity for example this is a 24 volt cobalt power tool battery and the BMS inside the 2 amp hour and the 4 amp hour are all the same so you can swap them out but it's not the same for this case this is the 5 amp hour battery that we are having problem with this is a 2.5 amp hour the 2.5 amp hour battery is a lot smaller and the case does not fit into the 5 amp hour so this is the controller of the 2.5 amp hour and it does not fit in the 5 amp hour it's too small and you can see the difference in size here and it's not just about the difference in size the wiring are also different in all of these connectors the wiring of these two connectors are different in each of the batteries even though the connectors are all the same size so I can basically plug this in here but because the terminals of the batteries are different if I plug this wire in here it will immediately burn this controller so I cannot use a BMS from a 2.5 amp hour battery and put it in a 5 amp hour battery so there you have it how to diagnose and repair or salvage an Eagle 56 volt lithium ion battery 
And that's all I have for now, folks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.